Welcome to Psychology of the Daf. We are in Gemara Pesachim, Daf Ayin. And we're going to talk today about contentment and satisfaction. Is there a way that a person could feel content and still not be satisfied with the status quo? Can a person work hard to change, yet also practice acceptance? So the Gemara on top of Ahmed Aleph refers to a unique requirement of the Karim Pesach, which is that it is nechal al hasova, which means it is supposed to be eaten in a state of satisfaction and satiation. That is, you're supposed to have the carbon chagiga first, and then come to uh, when you're not quite full. As the Miri points out, it wouldn't be good to eat the carbon pesach if you were stuffed, because then you wouldn't be enjoying it at all. But you're supposed to be at a state just before full, and then through the eating of the carbon pesach become full. And that's reflected also in Hilchus. Uh, Pesach today because we have the afikoman at the end of the meal. Ideally, we should still have room for the afikoman and not be stuffed, but at the same time, uh, it should be in a state of contentment. And the various commentaries notice a spiritual message in this requirement. For example, you can see the Shalah in Aser Sedivros Pesachim, the section titled Matzah Shira. And specifically, there seems to be a certain quality of experience in any state, especially the performance of a mitzvah, when when it's done in a state of some degree of satisfaction and some degree of contentment. And the commentaries even go on to say that there's a, a, a theurgic process where by uh, eating the matzah in a state of satisfaction, it brings satisfaction and uh, satiation to the world. And this reminds me of a certain psychological kind of equanimity that's so important to be able to achieve and leads most often to growth. You know, people usually, when they want to change something, they can get very heavy-handed with themselves. They can get angry at themselves, attack themselves, criticize themselves. There are those also who avoid and, and, and are in denial and pretend that everything's fine when it's not. Either of those states are not particularly conducive to growth. What's actually conducive to growth is this kind of mindful, compassionate curiosity towards one's own behavior. Uh, think of a, a situation where you're overeating and you want to work on not overeating. And you, you, you can either be very mad at yourself for eating um, and be filled with self-contempt, or you can be in some kind of denial and just be eating mindlessly. And the beauty of being mindful and noticing what you're doing is you might notice that, um, and not criticize, just notice with a great deal of compassion and regard for yourself. You might notice that, yes, you're eating to soothe yourself or that you're very anxious. Or you might even notice that you're eating so automatically, you're not even enjoying the eating and it might even be painful to eat because your stomach's hurting you uh, from being so full. The point is, that the best achievements towards self-change is actually by just compassionately noticing yourself. You come at it not as a pauper and not as a, as a rich man, meaning to say you come at the effort to modify your behaviors and to grow your behaviors not as somebody so desperate that you're filled with so much intensity and so much anxiety and even self-contempt that it's very, very difficult to live and grow. And you also don't come at yourself with this uh, uh, being totally laid back as if nothing matters. Rather, you come in with a certain openness toward yourself. And symbolically, that is what I believe is being represented by the Korv Pesach being Nechal Alasova, that it's an experience that one has to have fully there, not desperately hungry, and neither not um, in, um, in complete and total apathy, just there, experiencing it. And this is the way that people can achieve so much in terms of human growth.